members of the 34th General Assembly, members of the administration, and the students of St. Louis University. In accordance with the Constitution, I stand before you today to report on the state of the association. Let me first just say it's nice to have a new excuse for giving a long speech. <laughs> it has been an absolute privilege and honor to serve as president over the past eight months. I would like to thank my fellow students for their confidence, their encouragement, and their prayers. And I ask that they continue to provide me and this assembly with their support because we are far from finished. It is election season and some of you are already thinking about next year, but I refuse. I refuse to let any of us neglect the oath that we took at the beginning of our terms. As elected leaders, we are all trustees of the students of St. Louis University. Senators, although it is my task to report the State of the Association, to improve it is a task of us all. I stand here today with great excitement. In two days, we'll be cutting the ribbon to our newly expanded Simon Recreation Center. This has been an endeavor of SGA administrations for nearly a decade, and on Friday, we shall begin the celebration of their efforts, their advocacy, and their selflessness. Many have said that the Simon Recreation Center is going to be the legacy of this administration. I must state that this is not true. This is the legacy of all students. For it was students that raised their voices and shared their concerns. For it was students that motivated senators just like you to pursue this endeavor. And as we all know, as we look at our banner accounts, it is us who is paying for this. But regardless of that last point, it isn't so much the fact that students have agreed to tax themselves for this project that is significant. What is significant is the fact that students unite together to achieve a common goal. It is because of actions such as this, as well as many others that I could share, I can say with honesty and confidence that the state of the association is strong. We have had many accomplishments this past year, and we have initiated various efforts aimed towards enhancing the experience, satisfaction, and well-being of our fellow students. In addition to this, we have made great strides to strengthen and build sustainable relationships with the SLU administration. It is important to remember that SLU and the SGA, excuse me, it is important to remember that SGA and the SLU administration are not rivals for power, but partners for progress. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once described, we are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects us all indirectly. With that being said, rather than highlight the specific accomplishments from this year, I would like to share some of the concerns I have for the future. We are at a time where the needs of tomorrow are staring us in the face today. So I ask, what is SGA going to do about it? What is the SLU administration going to do about it? What are we together going to do about it? One of the most, if not the most, pressing issue for students is the need for greater financial assistance. Increases in tuition are to be expected. However, to be aware of this occurrence does not mean one is able to endure it. The number of students facing significant debt is a concern of mine and should be a concern of the SLU administration. As a student government, we have worked hard to establish the Upper Class Scholarship Fund. And under the stewardship of Vice Presidents Sorello, Hogan, Diamond, and Pingle, we have increased this fund as well as distributed awards to, deserve, <coughs> to deserving students. Although this is a valiant effort, it is not enough. When students come to SLU, they are promised many things. A well-rounded education, where we try to educate the whole person. Opportunities for intellectual and spiritual development guided by our Jesuit values, and an environment with curious personalities, care for the person, for the best interests of the student, is at the core. My fellow students, I fear that these promises will not be fulfilled if students' financial aid packages remain stagnant while tuition rates, housing rates, and meal plan rates continue to rise at excessive levels. It is time for our president and the executive staff to make an honest and attainable commitment to provide an adequate financial aid to upperclassmen. It is also a time for us to consider how our high tuition rates hinder efforts to recruit and sustain a diverse student body, as well as how it makes SLU even more out of, out of reach for low income and self-sufficient students. Please know that I truly do share the desires, the same desires Father Biondi, to make this the finest Catholic institution. 
but I believe it is necessary to find a balance between our high tuition rates and our Jesuit mission. My fellow students, I also think that the administration needs to have a greater focus on technology and how it can enhance our educational experience. As an institution of higher education, we need to foster technology innovation in all levels to make sure we stay in touch with the ever-expanding digital world. This goal is achievable. However, we need fresh minds whose technology abilities come second nature. We have programs that, we have programs that have been purchased, but their implement, implementation has yet to be complete. A prime example of this is the Gateway Portal, an unfulfilled promise. Another area in desperate need of improvement is our email services. Email is a communication tool of our millennium. We cannot be, be behind in this. This is a problem faced by both students and faculty as well as the administration and it needs to be addressed. Now, I will say that we have made important strides. Last year the administration instituted a $50 semester fee which has been put to good use. Our campus is now wireless. But I do hope that future assemblies ensure that the money collected from the technology fee goes towards student needs. If it doesn't, if our innovative ideas aren't put to fruition, we should do away with this fee. Let's not forget the reason why we are all here, our education. There has been great concern regarding students' academic experience at our campus. My fellow students, I must ask, do you feel as though your professors are preparing you to meet the status quo, or are they challenge you to excel above the norm? If your answer is the former, then I must ask why. Earlier I mentioned Kira's personality, and what I meant in this regard is, are your professors engaged in what you do, or are they too caught up in their own research? Vice President Diamond and his committee will be working hard to answer these questions. <coughs> Students, we need your feedback. Tell us how we can create a culture of high performance. <coughs> With regard to our recreation needs, there is no doubt that the expansion of the Simon Recreation Center is a huge supplement. However, students, students still yearn to have, a, have an adequate outdoor field to play our uh, club sport tournaments on. Yes, we live within a city, but given the remarkable changes that have already taken place in this campus, I do not, believe, I do not think an all-weather turf field is that far to reach. I've mentioned the student recreation fee as well as the technology fee. It surprises me though that I don't hear much talk about or rather grumbling about the student union fee. I think many of us have forgotten what this fee pays for. We are sitting in our student union. This fee pays for the Bush Student Center. Many students however do not feel that this is actually a student center. Many organizations don't understand why they have such difficulty reserving rooms nor do they understand why we have a 3,000 square foot room on our third floor that is empty when we are in great need of a lo location that will further cultivate leadership, promote social justice, and develop entrepreneur entrepreneurial skills. It is time for us to take ownership over our union. <laughs> <laughs>